Statistics show that men are four times more likely than women to commit suicide and are often ten times more effective in their attempts. Um, especially now in, in this time, one of the things I realize is that in conversations with brethren that I do have that are going through issues, it's the uncertainty of the time and the situation that's lead, leading to self-doubt. That self-doubt is a gateway to that depression. Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of Faded Conversations. Today we're going to be talking about a very interesting topic that a lot of people or men in general don't necessarily talk about and that is depression. Now, the word depression is not something that should be easily thrown about. It is something that has to be medically diagnosed, to be very honest. But we as Jamaican men are forced to be you know, strong, we have a lot on our shoulders, we don't usually talk about things that are affecting us. So we decided to have a conversation today. This is how it went. You are the person feeling depressed. Like what is your go-to as a solution to you feeling like, yo, this is getting too heavy? I mean, I've been lucky enough to go through periods of uncertainty and self-doubt, so I kind of, I'm better prepared for this time. Plus I'm older now, right? But at one point when I was going through it, a good brethren of mine over some room gave me one line. He said to me, your core half is strong. And over the years, I've been looking on that statement and this is my perspective on it. Your core is a lot of things. It's your, it's your center, how you, look, how you view yourself, how you think people view you. It's the people that you surround yourself with. It's your values. It's different things, right? And, it's, and once you start thinking about it that way, you can go very, very deep into it. Um, I find that people are getting, are getting more and more depressed now because they're valuing themselves based on the wrong things. They're valuing themselves based on the job, how much money they earn, you know what I mean? Status in society, these different things. When there's different things like your relationships, your, um, your physical well-being, your spiritual well-being, these are things that can prevent that bout of depression. So for me, when a brethren calls me and says, boy, I'm going through something and I think I'm depressed, one of the things that I do is that I don't judge. I can't judge you based on what I would do, and I can't suggest things that you could do, but I listen. And you listen and you kind of guide, open-ended questions, you know? Kind of make the person think. Don't give them no advice. If I were you, I would do this, because you're not them. I don't know the full situation. True. But you leave them with something to think about. It takes their mind off of the path that leads to depression and gives them something positive to think about. And once you start to do that, then they start to recover on their own. You might find, you know, like what, like what Andrew was saying, the follow-up is important, but you might find after asking those questions that these people don't need, even necessarily need you after that, you know, they find their own route, road to recovery, right? But you have to help them get there. So one of the things I do is I don't judge. The next thing I do, I make sure I follow up. And I'm not going to ask you necessarily about the situation, but just check in. If we can touch road, we touch road. You know what I mean? I've had many a drink in this COVID-19 thing over WhatsApp, video call and all these different things. You know what I mean? Just a presence so somebody knows that you know you're not sitting there by yourself yes yeah, sometimes you're going through depression sometimes you speak to a stranger and they can give us some good advice you know more than talk to somebody who you know you know who are you surrounding yourself with you know what i mean who am um, how are you viewing yourself is it if you make a hundred thousand this month or a million dollars next month, do you feel better about yourself? Do you feel worse about yourself? Is it the money? If that is it, then can that sustain you? When is it going to be enough? You know what I mean? You have to start to focus on what is important. How your wife, how your daughter, you know what I mean? How your son, everything good on that front? You know what I mean? If that's what, where the situation is, then you approach it from a different way. But you ask, for me, you ask questions that will help the person on their road to recovery. You don't judge, you don't give pronouncements. You try to be there as much as possible. You try to open them eyes to different things. And I think that's the way I deal with it. Depression in men is unfortunately a topic that is often neglected because we rarely talk about our feelings, especially men. We find that with depression in men, it presents itself not in the typical way that people think about depression, such as crying, unable to get out of bed, 
and general feelings of despair. Oftentimes, men have symptoms of depression in a different way. They present with anger, reckless behavior such as gambling, driving to over the speed limit, dangerous risks such as that, and also physical pain such as headaches, back pain, and even sexual dysfunction. And so we are often caught up with those symptoms and not realizing the underlying cause, which is depression. Now, depression in men is something that, if properly diagnosed, can be treated with a variety of things and can be managed so that it does not return. It's not something that has to stay. We have to make sure that our men talk about their feelings, whether to a loved one, a doctor, reaching out to different persons, because if these feelings of despair lead to feelings of suicide, that is definitely something we don't want. Statistics show that men are four times more likely than women to commit suicide and are often 10 times more effective in their attempts. So therefore, depression in men is not something that we should ignore any longer. There's help, there's resources, and it's something that we can tackle together. All right, guys, thank you for joining us. Tell us your thoughts, tell us everything you're feeling about the discussion in the comments, and we look forward to seeing you again on the next episode of Faded Conversations.